All right. So what do we talk about tonight? Let's see here. Bring up my Evernote. <clears throat> One thing I would like to talk about is the Uber ride that I had to work today. I had to, uh, uh, I, I, I had to drive to, to work and uh, didn't want to drive. Took an Uber. And the guy, uh, sometimes uh, is, uh, the, the Uber app, you can see the black car and you can watch. Sometimes the guy, it's foreshadowing. Like, you know you got a bad guy. It's like the black car is like w driving around in circles all around. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like you're just going around your house, you're just watching it. It's like, a, like if you're watching like a six-year-old play Pac-Man, you're, there's like this car icon going around. Like, ah, oh, it's one of these guys. Guy pulls up. Now I'm late for work. I get, I, I, but I'm the boss. Who cares? But, but, but I, I, I get in the thing and then you have that conversation. You're like, okay, these are more red flags because you're like, okay, I'm going to Burbank. And he's like, Bur Bork? <laughs> Uh, like Burbank, Burbank. It's like B O R M A R T. No, that's that's Bormart. That's that's a fictional planet. Uh, Burbank. Like, like a, you can't have not been here long enough that you couldn't. Do, yeah, like like it's Burbank. And it's fine that you, if you're that new, but why are you driving anyone anywhere for money? That's insane. I'm the I'm not driving, and I've been here for 20 years because I'm afraid I'll get lost. And so I called you, Bormart. <laughs> so he types the thing in, and then he's like, he can't, he can't get out of my neighborhood. He doesn't know where the thing is. It's like, and I was driving around, and I'm uh, go left, and they'll go right. And now you're the thing. He gets on the freeway. He starts going 90 miles per hour to Burbank. And then I'm like, okay, this is, this is how I die, and I'm going to, but, but I'm not going out. I'm not going to be one of these people that dies going, I don't want to die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out checking my email. So I check, <laughs> I check my email, and then I'm looking at it and getting engrossed in that stuff. And then I feel the car slowing. I feel it. And then I, uh, I look up, and uh, I'm like, how can we, why are we slowing? I didn't feel us get off anything. Like, like, usually there's more of that kind of like event where your unconscious brain knows you're getting off the freeway, whether you're listening. So I look up, and there's this exit at Burbank. And you can either go west or east. And so there's a little fork there. But you're on the freeway. He has stopped his SUV. Uh, not Probably not his SUV. Probably a family member's SUV. And he, and, and he is like, he's going, sir? And I, and I looked up and I went, oh, Jesus. And he went, yeah, which, woo, woo. And I went, west. I, wherever the thing that you put. And, and he's like, okay. And he starts the car on the freeway and it just keeps going like it was his driveway and like this was all normal. Then he pulls over the thing. So in the, in the, after that, so the block span between that and getting dropped off at Starburns Industries in Burbank, where I went, work, went to work today. Uh, uh, I, I'm thinking to myself, all right, Harmon, this is it. You're giving this guy less than five stars. <laughs> Finally, this is it. Like, like if, I've never done it before. I've never done it because there's this thing with the Uber culture where you're like, they, they're so, it, it's just like you feel the people that you would, might give four stars, the whole reason you might give them four stars. I create this backstory for them, and I'm like, well, then, then they're fucked, and like, 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 how is that going to help society? And like, 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 maybe the bad drivers should get more encouragement. And <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be the guy that like knocks a guy off the fucking Cubert, you know, thing. And, and, and there was a thing called Cubert. Look it up. <laughs> So I, I, in the one block, I'm resolved. I'm like, four stars. That's enough for this guy. He's stopped on the freeway. Four stars, I'm yeah. thinking. He pulls up to the uh, curb to let me out. And, uh, I'm, <laughs> okay. So, so, and then I, and I'm like, Thank, as you, at, at an Uber exchange, like, you don't have to change any money. That's the nice thing about Uber. It's like, you're done. You can leap out of the car and run away. <laughs> And he pulls up to a stop, and he turns back, and, and he says, like, okay, thank you very much. It's so nice. Thank you very much. And, and, and I, I don't know if that's a fair accent or if that's <laughs> – and I don't know what – like, like, so, so, and, I, and I go, thank, thank, thank you, thank you. And I swear to God, this is what I heard. I can't verify that this is what he said. This is exactly what I heard. He said, I make a five stars. <laughs> <laughs> And I almost started crying <laughs> as I got out. And I fucking, you better, I, I wish I could give him six stars. No, no, you 
I'd make a five stars. He sounded like fucking Mario. Yeah. I may, I make the cake for my wife today. I drive you all around. I make a five stars. I couldn't fucking deal with it. It was like the guy in Saving Private Ryan. Betty Grable, Betty Grable. That's how the Holocaust happens, man. <laughs> okay, connect those dots for me. I thought that's how you avoid the Holocaust. No, you have to. Here's the thing. <laughs> All right. That guy, what happens the next time he stops on the interstate? Right. That's and the guy. That's the guy that puts the knife. Hundred- that's going shh 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 at the end of Saving Private Ryan. Shh, shh. Oh no no no! Shh, 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 shh. I make a five stars. I make a five stars. <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right. Hundreds of people could die. You're right. Hundreds of people. You're right, I fucked up, I you fucked up again. I fucked up. <laughs> I, we, we need a special Uber drone that follows Uber passengers yes. and checks up on their rating so that you can weight their rating because I'm just going to give you five stars if you fucking pick me up. That's it. Because I can't handle it. I can't handle the pressure. Yeah, I, I, I got off on it. I got off on the idea when it was introduced because I was so sick of the no star taxi system where the only the only rule was that you call a taxi and if they got time for you, they'll try to make the time and and, and if you if you at all don't fit into their system, you can go fuck yourself and, and you, there's no communication and it's a public utility and they have a monopoly. And so when Uber came out, it was like, fuck the police. Yeah. yeah! I don't know how the police are involved, but fuck everybody. <laughs> fuck the taxi police. But and, it seems... and it was like, it was so great because you felt the fear. You could feel the fear. You could taste it. Everybody that picked you up was like, oh shit, I don't know how to Uber, right? <laughs> and, and it was just like fucking everything had turned on its ear. The consumer was in control. The people ruled. <laughs> Capitalism was being presented in its proper form. Yes. There were people competing for your favor. It felt good. <laughs> but it had nothing to do. And then slowly but surely, you know, your girlfriend gets a Uber ride. She's like, that guy was creepy. What do you mean? No, oh, I'll tell you a story. Yeah! No, what did I, you do? I gave him three stars. <laughs> Jesus. It, I, th- I think it's it's our it's our hitchhiking. It's like our generation's hitchhiking. Like when you talk to like people from the '60s, they it was a normal thing to like just hitch a ride. It wasn't something that would that well, now if you if you hear someone as a hitchhiker or is hitchhiked. You look at them in terror because yeah. the idea is like one out of three hitchhikers ends up in Dude, an alligator's yeah, stomach up. in a swamp. <laughs>